here's example two. We have find a linear equation to model this real world application. It costs ABC Electronics Company $2.50 $2 per unit to produce a part used in a popular brand of desktop computers. The company has monthly operating expenses of $350 for utilities and $3,300 for salaries. What are the company's monthly expenses? All right, so I wanna figure out how much this company is gonna spend each month. And again, I always go back to what is the variable? Let's see what's varying in this problem. It sounds like this company has some fixed costs. They have to drop $300, $350 on utilities, $350 for utilities, and they have to also spend $3,300 on salaries. So that's gonna happen no matter what. But the variable here, you see it's telling us in addition to utilities and salaries, they're spending $250 per unit to produce some part that goes into desktop computers. So the variable here in terms of their monthly expenses will be how many parts they produce. Right? If they only produce one part, it's an extra $2.50 a month. If they produce a thousand parts, it'd be another $2,500 a month. And this is just their expenses. This isn't talking about how much money they'll take in if they can sell these particular parts. So my variable here is the number of parts produced. And if we wanna be more specific, it's produced each month because these are monthly expenses. So in terms of expenses, expense as, did I spell that right? Expense, I feel like, yeah, I did spell it right. Wow, okay, just wanted to have one of those moments. Um, I will call that letter E because I feel like it. So let's get an equation for E. It sounds like here they have to spend 350, right? they have to spend 3300, and then they have to spend a certain amount of money per part, right? $2.50 units, $2.50 per unit. So I'm gonna represent that with 250X, right? So for however many units they produce, it's gonna cost them 250 per unit. So if I look at that, if I just want to clean that up a bit so I can get an expression or an equation, excuse me, a linear equation for this, this real world application, these are like terms. So I'm going to add them together. So it looks like this company needs to spend $3,650 right out the gate to cover utilities and salaries and then $250 per part. They didn't give us an, an extra part of this equation. This, excuse me, this, this problem didn't extend and say, you know, then what are the company's monthly expenses if they produce 7,500 parts? They didn't have us plug in a value for X and get a value for E, or vice versa, give us, give us a monthly expense and ask how many parts they had produced. We'll run into that later on where we have those types of word problems, but for right now, it's just asking us to stop here so we have our linear model and we're good to go. We're gonna head over to example three where we're gonna review up um, distance equaling rate times time problems and I will see you in a few. Bye.